Today I'm going to make a custom walk animation for my Roblox game. And we're not going to do any coding at all. So it's going to load on startup and then you're going to have it. But you're not going to be able to change it during the game. I have coding solutions that allow you more flexibility. I'll put links in the description for those. But they're a little bit harder. Today I'm going to do the R15 walk animation and I'm going to make another video for the R6. I don't want to cover too much in a video so if people want something specific they can just look for that specific video. So I am set to R15 in this game. I'm going to play it and then my animation is going to be R15 also. Alright, here we are. We're in the game. We're going to go to the workspace and I need something from my player's character, Simtech Gamer 7. He's in the workspace now. I'm going to open this up and I'm going to look for the animate script right there. I'm going to right click. I'm going to copy it. Now I'm going to turn my game off. That's important. Turn it off. And then go to starter player, starter character scripts. These are the scripts that get loaded into your player's character on game startup. We are going to paste into, and we're going to make a modification in the run, right? So we're going to change that animation. That's how we're going to get it to work. So let's go over to our avatar. Let's go to our rig builder. We're doing R15. I think I'm going to pick mesh avatar 2012. He's got cool hair. All right, and you might need to move him around a little bit. He's where I want him. All right, let's go and get our animation editor. Cool. It says select the rig to animate. There we go. Let's give it a name, something like custom walk. Create. I'm going to hit these three dots right here. I'm going to go down to set animation priority. I'm going to set it to movement. All right, and then I'm going to hit the three dots again. I want to save it. And now, if you go up to your rig, there it is, you're going to see Anim saves. And that's our custom walk. But we're not going to use it from there. We're going to publish it to Roblox. Use it by ID. Whoops, let's click this, get that back. All right, I have my timeline right here. If you hit that cog, I have it on seconds frames. And I have 30 FPS, just so that you can match mine if you want to. All right, so this timeline, we're at the, this is the scrubber bar. We're at the zero colon zero zero. Let's go ahead and move him around a little bit. Let's go ahead and get that arm. I have this set to 15 degree increments right here. I'm going to move his arm up one, two, and I'll just move his leg back a little bit. You can do whatever you want for this, right? This is your walk animation. Cool. And maybe I'll make him strut a little bit too. I don't know. How do you strut like that? That's pretty good. Let's move that arm back. One, two, move the leg up. One, two, I don't wanna make it too complicated because it's a video. Cool, that's not bad. All right, let's go ahead and grab these keyframes. We're gonna hit the copy selected and I'm gonna go out to about the seventh frame here. I wanna paste keyframes. And then we'll go out to maybe what the 14, I think that's a 12, 13, 14, and paste keyframes. And then you can count these just to make sure that you got an equal distance. You can move them, right? So if you're like, oh man, I need that to be here. I'm just clicking, holding down on that top one and dragging it. Now we're not getting any walking movement because these are all exact same keyframe. So if we play it, nothing, right? Nothing. What we're going to do is go to the middle one, get that middle one right here. And then I'm going to change this one. I'm going to grab that leg. One, two, three, four. I'm going to grab this arm. One, two, three, four. I got to get that shoulder. Got to get that torso. I mean, I move the torso back. We just moved it one up. So we'll just go to here. Get the other arm. Upper arm, one, two, three, four. This one, one, two, three, four. Ah, oh, is that right? Oh, I messed it up. Yeah, I think I got one more. What does that look like? Let's compare. Nah, I think it's too much. 
We'll check it. Let's check it. We're going to put it on looped. And let's see what we got. He's moving pretty fast. I like it. I like that. I think the legs look good, though. I think we're good. All right, let's go ahead and we can pause that. We will hit the three dots. Save it in case you need to modify it. Remember, it's right here. But we want to use the ID. So I'm going to hit these three dots right here. I'm going to go down to Published Roblox, Custom Walk, Submit, Voila. I'm going to grab that ID, hit those two boxes, ID copy, close. And then we're going to go to our starter character scripts under the starter player. We're going to look for the run. Hit the run. Click that box. I can move this out a little bit. All right, so it's got the Roblox stuff in there. Just going to highlight everything. Control V. You're going to get the number. But then when you hit enter, you're going to get your Roblox asset ID stuff prepended. Looking good. Now we can try this out. Let's go ahead and try it. Hit the play button. I'm going to get rid of this for now. I'm going to go to view. I'll put window, just make sure we don't have any errors. That's pretty good. But I want to change my sound. I don't like the sound. It doesn't quite match the speed of his steps. So while it's playing, I'm going to go to players this time. Sound is in players. The animate is in the workspace. So we're going to open up players. There's SimTech Gamer 7 also in players. We're going to go down to the player scripts. We're going to get our Roblox character sounds. Right click, copy, turn off. And I get rid of that. Let's go to starter player scripts, right? It's right underneath that animate. Starter player scripts, right click. Paste into, open that up. Oh, well, we're going to double click on it. Let's double click on it. I'm going to close this. And we need to change the sound. All right, so we have a sound ID here. Oh, that's fine. You can change it if you want. It is looped. So if we didn't hit the looped inside your, when you went to save off your for your ID, that's okay. It's going to change it here. My pitch, I think I'm going to increase the pitch. Let's go to like, I don't know, three. Yeah, maybe 3.5. Cool. And we have play. I like that. That's pretty cool. All right, so I'll see you in the next video. That's a lot easier than doing all the coding, but you have less flexibility.